Cannot believe I'm here with Alicia Keys, the one and only 15-time Grammy award-winning singer, writer, producer, entrepreneur. Like, what do you not do? You make us all look like really lazy, by no, the way. No, <laughs> no, everybody's doing their thing. I'm, I'm really excited to be back in my hometown today. Had to come visit you. I know. This was like such a thing. We were savoring this moment, and I was going to say, like, homecoming for you this is where it all started yes like you must have some really big feelings right now definitely i mean you know we're doing the keys to the summer tour it's feeling so good loving the summer energy everywhere is the best performing tonight at barclays it's going to be an amazing show it's my first 360 show so there's a lot of firsts in the mix which is so beautiful i think this is the best show i've ever done yet period so every night when i get on stage i feel exhilaration and excitement and just joy so not only will that be exponentially you know magnified tonight because i'm in my hometown but it's just a really good vibe everybody loves this show okay can we talk about the fashion for a second because mm. uh there's like a lot of meaning that i was reading the, the vogue article yes. obviously yes so let's talk about some of the pieces some of your favorites and like what they mean to you i i definitely consider myself what my style is what I call tomboy chic I like to be this kind of mixture between boy and girl kind of vibe is is my zone it's always been like that I think that's for sure the New York in me for sure Valentino did a special piece for me that hasn't even walked the runway it kind of has that element to it that's incredible Pucci have done some amazing pieces for me as well Prabal has done some beautiful pieces so there's a lot of a lot of really special, there's, a, there's even some up and coming designers that are on the stage tonight. It's really, really, really fresh. Now, I'm not a big changer. Yeah, that's I'm what like, I was gonna ask, like, I don't know how people change so fast. Do you have like a team of people that are just? I'm not a big changer. I am changing, I do change one time in the show, but that's my max. Like, I can't change more than once. <laughs> it's too much, I can't think about it. Um, but yes, it's definitely a, it's a small team in the back that's like ripping this off and pulling this off and yeah. pulling this on Taping and replugging. Taping things up, yeah. A lot of tape. Well, lot yeah, of, a lot, lot of tape. tape. You know, I think you kind of <laughs> paved the way for like the minimalistic approach to mm. beauty and mm. just like loving yourself. And you did it before everybody else. Like this is like pre-pandemic, was it 2016? Yeah, it was actually, you I know, guess. And all of us low maintenance, folks out there That's appreciate you so much thank you you've got the uh i guess it's a lifestyle brand i don't want to call it a makeup line or skincare but yes. it's like it, it encompasses a lot so what's your favorite product from your line key soul care that's right it's called key soul care i love it so much key soul care was really created um because i had really really difficult skin my skin has always broken out a lot and it's been like a pain anybody who has that skin it just it's so hard to why do manage. i find it so hard to believe your skin is like perfect right now but i'm telling you i'm just telling you that this is a this is a new occurrence it's not <laughs> most of my life has not been great so um so i realized that the reason why my skin was reactive is is mostly because uh not only what i was using topically but mostly because of what was going on around me so there was a lot of stress a lot of energies that maybe weren't the most complimentary for me that I had to realize you had to move from. So Key Soul Care created, along with the dermatologist, to not only make sure that it's efficacious and it's really good for your skin, it protects your skin, but also to make sure that there's a soulful element to it. So each one, I call it an offering, not a product, because I feel like products feel very transactional. And this is really about a deeper conversation. And the conversation is, how can you connect more to yourself? And so how do you turn routine into ritual? So each each offering has a mantra on it. My favorite one would be I Own My Power, which is our brand new release, which is a skin tint. So it has a tint to it and also a bit of concealer. It has a very glowy feel to it. So it's all about being natural and enhancing your natural you and you could take it further you want to you want to be heavier you want to be lighter you do what you want to do because the most important thing is you find what feels good for you and don't let the world dictate to you who you're supposed to be i love that that is such a powerful message like mm. uh, all about the self-care now speaking of facts you are, you are doing a summer tour while everybody is doing summer fridays and slacking Ooh. off like, <laughs> what do you do how do you find time for fun and what is your absolute favorite thing to do when you're not working i just i mean i i love a lot of things i was saying yesterday we went bowling me and the family we went bowling i did the worst job ever in my whole life <laughs> what was your score it was the it was the second lowest somehow i came up from the bottom it was like 37 what 
It was really bad. Stop. Don't make fun That's of me. That's not even a real score. No, that is okay. my score. So don't they make do fun of me. They do have the bumpers me. if you ever Thank wanna. you. No, I'm Apparently like I needed them. So the point it's is, fun. I don't have to be always good at it to do it. It's okay. So, But I just love to have a good time with the family. That's the best. Um, we definitely do a lot of outdoor things. I'm a crazy outdoor person too. We definitely like to explore and have a good time for sure. A lot of sleep too though. I find the summer is really good for sleep. Oh yeah. You know what 100%, I mean? 100%. Especially like it. during a rainstorm. Oh, it's the best. Right. Well, we are so excited to see you tonight. I know you have limited time here, but um, a couple of other things happening this fall. Yes. You have Hell's Kitchen the Musical. Oh my gosh. Which is playing at the Public Theater and it's like not only featuring your music but also loosely based on your life. So I would love to know what was so important about telling this story, this coming of age story. It's, it is a coming of age story. Hell's Kitchen is incredible. I cannot believe we're here. I've been developing it for the past 10 years. And so it's really, you know, if it took 10 years, it's good. You know what I mean? You can, you can, if you cooked something in the oven for 10 years, that thing would be tasty. Yes. So this is definitely, <laughs> is baked to perfection. It's really, really amazing. It is about a, a girl named Allie. You meet her in her 17th year. She's struggling with issues of independence and identity and just who she is and where she's going and how she's going to get there. You really, uh, obviously it's called Hell's Kitchen and you really meet all of the people in Hell's Kitchen that are part of her world and her life. And you are going to completely see yourself in this piece. The music is amazing. I really am excited because you're hearing the music in a way that you haven't heard it before. And it's also brand new music too, which you're going to love these new songs. So um, it's so special. It opens on November 19th at The Public and we're looking to transfer to Broadway super fast. Um, I'm thrilled about this. This is like my dream come true but this is your baby this is my baby oh my gosh that's amazing <laughs> well anyway we are excited about that we are excited about all the things really seeing you tonight at barclay center and by the way i think there's still like a few tickets left I, it's you gotta go sell now out. you gotta go now yeah, you gotta you, go now you know what we do have a pair to give away here yes! i don't have it physically because they're all digital these days but why don't you do the honors and tell them to call now for a chance to win call now for a chance to win your tickets to the keys to the summer tour which is going to blow your mind we're going crazy tonight at barclay I can't wait to see you. Big love to my hometown, New York City.